Good day everyone, those who are here and those who are viewing us live. Truly in everything we give God thanks. The word of God said we must bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in our mouth. And there are some circumstances though it may seem hard to thank him. But the word of God encourages us that we should be thankful. Truly, this is the day that the Lord hath made. And through his spirit, we will rejoice and be glad. We thank God for lending to us Andrico Robinson, a dear brother, a dear son, someone who has touched many lives and I give God thanks for the contribution that he had made in this world, more so in the Assemblies of God in Jamaica. We thank God, we praise God for his contribution. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last room. 
For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall raise incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Then, when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall we brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you may know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 20. 50 to 58. The word of the Lord we honored by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, no one ever shall be word without end. Amen. We will continue in this homegoing service and service of celebration for the life of our dear brother, Brother Andrico Robinson. Sunrise, April 24, 1991. Sunset, April 2, 2020. We'll do this opening hymn. And you can sing wherever you are. Great is thy faithfulness. O God, my Father. Great is thy faithfulness. O God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning with Thee. Thou changest not, Thy compassions they fail not. As Thou hast been, Thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have need that thy hands have provided. Lord, unto me, summer and winter and springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above, join with Full weakness to thy great faithfulness, mercies and love. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have need that thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin, pardon for sin, and the peace that endureth. to cheer and to guide, strength for today and bright hopes for tomorrow. Blessings all mine, with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness 
Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I am needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. At this time, we'll invite Pastor Michelle Robinson Powell. Sister of the deceased to come and do the opening prayer. Praise the Lord. Can we praise the Lord? Can we praise the Lord? God is a good God. Amen. God is a good God. Bless the name of the Lord. The word of God declares in Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. He who ascends into the hills of the Lord, or who shall stand in his holy place. He that had clean hands and a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from God of his salvation for this for is the generation of them that seek him that seek thy face O Jacob lift up ye heads O ye gates and be he lifted up ye everlasting doors and the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory hallelujah the Lord strong and mighty the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Hallelujah. The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you honor. We don't serve serve a dead God. We serve a God that is live and well. And Father, we give you thanks and praise for the life that you had given to our brother, Andrico Robinson. You had given unto him such a perpetual love, your perpetual protection, your perpetual peace, your perpetual joy, your perpetual and provision, your perpetual protection. Father God, I thank you, Almighty God, that your presence, Almighty God, was with him, and your presence is still with him. Devil, you will not get any glory over Andrika's life. The Lord is the one that give up, and the Lord is the one that take it. For every soul belongs to God. Andrika's soul belongs to God. And I'm letting you know again, devil, you shall get no glory over my brother's life. God created him. He blew his breath in his nostril and gave him life. And Andrika become a living soul. He walked with God. He talked with God. He was a singing machine for God. Every year of his life was ordered by the Lord. Father God, we thank you that 
that you had shadowed him through this life. Yeah. Father, I thank you that you had given him the tenacity to go through this life, Almighty God, here on planet Earth. Father God, I thank you for the faith that he had, Lord Jesus, to live for you. Father God, I'm asking you that you'll continue to strengthen us as a family. I pray, Almighty God, that you'll hide us underneath your wings. We refuse to mourn and weep like those who have no hope. Hallelujah. We do have a hope. We shall see him again. We will laugh again. We will talk again. For if in this life we have hope, we are man's most miserable. But Father God, we thank you that there's a place that called heaven, the afterlife, and we will see him again. Father God, I pray that you'll comfort each and every one of us that are here today. Have your way, almighty God, and I pray that your perpetual covering will continue to be with us. In Jesus' name we pray, and let everyone say amen and amen. Somebody give him praise. Somebody give him worship. Come on. Somebody bless the name of the Lord, for he's not dead, but he's alive. This is just the body that God had given to him for just a moment. But we rest assured, our hearts are encouraged that Andrico is not dead dead but he is alive if we believe what the word of God says that he is alive we bless the name of the Lord God bless you in Jesus name I hand over to our brother Dorian Robinson praise God praise God can we lift up some shout in the house come on man can we lift up some shout at this time in this service praise God praise God you know it's us service of um, celebration and I just want to say thanks for all of us who have um, been able to make it here today praise God under the circumstances those who are viewing um, via the social media platform um, good day to you all thank you very much for tuning in um, at this moment in support with the the family please in support with the family and we ask that you just continue to pray for us as we go through this time of bereavement for our brother Andrico um, Robinson. If it's one thing I'm positive about, um, he would not want us to be in a state of mourning. Amen. Um, we, we, we know what our, who our brother are, 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 are the attributes of Andrico is. He's a very lively, upbeat Amen. Stepper. Amen. That's right. Praise God. So we, 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 we remember him and we celebrate his life. Amen. In that way. Yes. Amen. So the word of God reminds us that if it's only in this life alone we have hope that we will be men most miserable. Amen. So we live knowing that it's not only in this life our hope is. We believe that there is better on. Amen. And as he has made his transition from this life to the next all of us, whether we are seated here, whether we are viewed via um, social media, wheresoever you are in the world, wheresoever you are, amen, we are going to have to make that transition just the same. So all what we do, we celebrate during this time, and we celebrate the life of Andrico Robbins. Amen. amen. Praise God. We know that we are going to be, he's, he's going to be missed. Come on, amen. amen. He's going to be missed. He's going to be so missed. But during this time, what we do today, we celebrate yes. his life and his legacy. Amen. Praise God. We're going to be having um, um, the first lesson read. It's going to be done by our pastor, Ensley Lysith. It's taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through to 58. And I'm asking the please, right? 50 to 58. And I'm asking if we, where you are at home, um viewing on this platform we just ask you just to you know find that scripture and just join with the family as we 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 read that so it's first corinthians 15 50 to 58 praise god praise god praise god the reading is from the first lesson of paul the apostle to the church in corinth and it reads Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, 
and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the same. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my brethren, beloved, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, for as much as we know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord, the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you very much, Pastor Lysa. Praise God. We understand that due to the ongoing issue with the coronavirus that is affecting the entire world that we have to adhere to the government's stipulation as it relates to the amount of persons that are able to um, attend the funerals and weddings and formal functions. And um, we, we give God thanks for those who have stated their interest of wanting to be here but because of those rules and regulations, they are not able to. But a lot of tributes have been sent in from different different areas of society as it relates to our late brother, Andrico Robinson. And um, during the course of the service, a lot of these tributes um, will be read um, that has been sent in to the family. But at this time, we're going to have it, be having a selection this time from Sister Jordan Dobbs. We have in the, we're going to be having a selection from Sister Jody Dobbs, and after that we're going to be moving uh, some of the tributes that we have. So let's ask her to come at this time. Please go. Good afternoon again, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm kind of homesick for a country, a place I No sad goodbyes will there be spoken and time won't matter anymore. I'm going to sing is one of Drico's favorite songs. Um, we would always sing it when we were on the phone. You know, he was such a happy person, and um, if he was here today, he would be grumbling that we're singing too many dead songs. I can assure you that <laughs> because he was a lively person. Yes, 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 yes. So I'm going to just sing one of his favorites today, and I'm gonna ask you to. Join in with me. I've got somebody with me to share my heavy load. I feel his presence near me every day. Though troubles overtake me, a long last weary road. Said I've got somebody with me all the way. Share 
God, he is able. Yes, ma Come on, somebody is able to carry us through. Yeah. He's able to carry us through this grieving process. He's able to carry us through. Amen. Somebody praise yeah. God. Praise God. You know, um, you know, in reflection and thinking about Andrico, my, my, my brother, you know, and boy, oh, 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 <laughs> how we live this life and how he was. Amen. Somebody. You know, we're giving God thanks for that. Um, his, his impact was tremendous. Amen. Somebody throughout the life that he lived. You know, it's, 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 he died on the month of his birth. Praise God. You know, and we, 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 we're giving God thanks for the time in which he lent him, lent him to us. Amen. Somebody and the many lives that he has touched and the work that he has done. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to be moving in a few tributes at this time. Praise God. Um, I'm going to be doing two tributes on behalf of some persons who were unable to come. This is where he worked. You know, he worked in Kingston. He resided in Kingston for a couple of years. And we're giving God thanks for that journey. Praise God. Praise God. The, the, the management and staff of Digicel, they were unable to make it, given what is happening in terms of the... The coronavirus and the stipulated time frame on funerals in terms of the curfew and all of that but they weren't able to make the journey to Montego Bay but what they did they sent in the tributes from the departments in which Andrika worked praise God praise God and we are giving God thanks for that amen, amen. praise God so tribute from the Digicel Jamaica customer care team if extra was a person uh, let me tell you something. Me no say drink or an extra. <laughs> Man, a drink or say extra. Everything wine do. Drink or extra with wine do. And that one of and that's one of the things that I think a lot of persons remember remember, remember about Andrico. He was an extra person. He not believe in a nothing simplicity. He not believe in nothing simple. You understand? And I guess that's one of the reasons he did so well working with the with, with digicel because of the kind of person he is but it says if extra was a person andrika was an exceptional leader whose dedication and dependability were only matched by his caring and vibrant personality he was an eager and willing mentee a great mentor and an even present friend not only to his agents but the customer care team at large, a go-getter with big dreams for the future. Andrika shared his plans to take over the world with singing and ocean garden. His business born out of his love for plants. Among many other things, he enjoyed life, loved people, and always strived to make a difference. Andrika was free-spirited and notorious for always finding some game or activity to keep us on our toes. 
And that laugh, his laughter was an infectious testament of how truly happy and full of life he was. He loved God and had an undeniable gift for singing. He really loved to sing and was appreciated and, and we appreciated his voice, passion and energy as he always left us amazed by delivering every song, every nursery rhymes as his greatest performance. He had very high standards and, ex and excelled at all that he put his focus towards. Each time he and his team reached a milestone, he always raised the bar higher. Nothing that this, noting that this was his duty as a leader. He fearlessly pushed his own limits and not only became, but also developed better leaders and better people while doing so. Some team members recall their first encounter with Andrico through his efficiency with owning and resolving the issues of play customers. Others note his Rico Suave persona during serenades and some even recognize him through his artistic views of plants which have become a staple for many who still reflect by looking at them daily. As a team, we collectively recall Andrico's competitive nature which always led him announcing, not requesting, the support expected of us while he embarked on his next adventure. The vigor and confidence is what we will miss the most. He always finds the time to personally recognize and show his appreciation towards his team and was never too busy to touch base with those of us who simply needed a smile. Our memories of Andrico will always be underscored by the great impact that he made and the legacy that he left with us. The legacy is both an encouragement and a call to arms for us to emulate. He was loved by many and will be tremendously missed to his family. We want to thank you for allowing him to work with us, to lead us, and to impart on us some of his invaluable qualities. A supportive leader who was admired and respected, Andrico has left a lasting impression on us all, and we will be stronger as individuals and as a team just to live up to his expectations. We will always cherish the memories of working with him as he has left as many much more than simply appear. Our hearts and prayers are with you during this difficult time as our deepest sympathies go out to you and your loved ones. May you find the comfort and peace that you seek and may his soul rest in peace while God continues to bless his spirit and his legacy. This is from the Digicel Jamaica customer care team, one of the areas in which Andrico worked. And there's also another tribute that came in from the same Digicel. This comes from the sports and social club. And these are two critical areas in which he was even more so active um, in the Digicel group, Digicel family. If we had to vocalize the life Andrico lived, it would be as follows. Life is a song. Sing it. Life is a game. Play it. Life is a challenge. Meet it. Life is a dream. Realize it. Life is a sacrifice. Offer it. Life is love. Enjoy it. Andrika, our brother, was full of life. His time on our committee as the public relations officer ignited a fire in him which produced a burst of creativity and energy. Andrika was always overly excited about each and every task. He had the most unrestrained laugh. That laugh will forever be in our hearts and our memories. Andrika was committed, honest, loyal and most of all he was passionate he was passionate about christ 
He was passionate about work. He was passionate about his team. He was proud of us and he and we were equally proud of him. To Andrico, we would like to say thanks. Thanks for sharing yourself with us. Thanks for making us laugh. Thanks for making this team a success. Thanks for making us remember Christ in all we did. Thanks for being unapologetically you. We will cherish your memory forever. And one day, we, your team, love you. The Digital Sport and Social Club Committee is extremely grateful to the Robinson family for giving us the distinct pleasure of having known Andrico and forming bonds which will be forever unbroken. Andrico was a perfect gentleman. He was supportive, caring, and he was always himself. Thank you for sharing him with us. He was an angel here on earth. Those are the tributes from the Digicel family. Condoling, sending their condolences to the family and the brief. At this time, we're going to be having a tribute from the Edna Manley School of the Visual and Performing Arts. It's going to be asking Pastor Lysi to come again with that tribute. Praise God. Good afternoon. Well, it's still morning. <laughs> From the Edmund Bandley College. Year after year, the Edna Bandley College accepts some of the most amazing singers into its program. But ever so often, we get amazing singers who are also amazing performers. And Andrico happened to be one of those. His big and bold personality instantly comes to you upon meeting him. He was often the ringleader and had some of the most shady comments that would have an entire class erupting in laughter. He was so real and so genuine with one of the biggest hearts. If you were lucky to have a one-on-one -on -one with him, you would find how deeply he cared and how much he and how much concern he would be to a man and a man of his words. I'll never forget the time he cried tears in one of her lessons because he taught a song I assigned him was too difficult to learn. Imagine my surprise when Andrika came back the following semesters, excited to sing for me that same very song. We worked hard, knew what he wanted, and was determined to achieve it. He recently reminded me that his sole purpose for coming to Kingston was to get his degree. I'm truly saddened that he fell short of his dreams and that he'll never get a chance to accomplish it. It is with deep sadness that we at the Edna Manley College say goodbye to one of our beloved. We will always remember Andrico for making every situation a joyous one, and we'll forever keep him in our hearts. To his family and friends and loved ones, we extend our heartfelt condolence, condolences and will keep you in our prayers. The Edda Manley College. Praise God. Thank you very much. A tribute from the Edda Manley College. Um, for those who have been sending their condolences via the social media platform, we want to say thank you very much. We want to acknowledge you in the service. And um, we have hundreds of persons who are watching at this moment from all over the world. I just want to say thanks. Over 400 and climbing, right? Persons are actually viewing online. Praise God. And we thank you for your um, comments that have been coming in and the condolences that have been sent um, across the media platform. I just want to say thanks for that. Praise God. Praise God. We will continue with um, some, of the, some of the tributes. We have, a tribute, we have a tribute coming in from the Assemblies of God in Jamaica, the youth, um, the youth arm of the Assemblies of God in Jamaica. And it says, and I quote, It was Nick Vujujic that said, The pinnacle of the fulfillment 
I can ever experience. For my spirit and soul is to hear from the Lord. When I see him face to face, and well done, my good and faithful servant. Andrika Robinson, faithfulness to the kingdom made him easily visible to the Christ Ambassador National Youth Department in the year 2013. He was already serving as a youth president for the, then for the Gospel Temple Assemblies of God Youth Department. But his passion for the work of God and his love for people, no matter their status, made it impossible not to see his worth. He was immediately given the position of public relations officer at the county level and started serving on various committee at the national level. Andrika was a loyal and committed servant. When he moved to Kingston for school and work, we were concerned that he would not be available, but we watched in amazement how this young man navigated his schedule and would travel sometimes as far as Sentan for planning meetings. He never once complained about the journey or demanded anything from the planning or demanded anything from the from us. As a matter of fact, he would apologize to us if he was late and if we were not careful, he would rush back home without asking for his transportation coverage. That opened our eyes to the reality that for such a young man, he understood service and he was humble and mannerable. He also displayed remarkable love and warmth for people. His presence at youth events, especially youth camp, made a complete difference. And we would look forward to him rushing in and just hugging and loving everyone. We didn't have to worry while he and others were at camp. Drico knew what role he played in making camp a success, and he carried out his role with diligence, enthusiasm, and discipline. He ensured the campers were loved and cared for, and those who were new felt welcome and included. His house was red, red house, and he would go the extra mile to ensure that they remained in the race. <laughs> it was amazing to see him in rivalry with the other houses, leaders, and sometimes get so emotional with his team. That was just who he was, passionate about what he does. To speak about passion would be only fair to share that year at camp, Jacob brought his digital phone cards to sell. <laughs> now we didn't know he was a big competitor until we realized our cards weren't selling. When we got word that he was selling and we approached him, he burst out into his favorite Jacob laugh. And he said, sorry, auntie, I will stop. But the joke was on us because his cards were completely sold out. <laughs> but, but could we ever be mad at him? No, never. Because even in seriousness, Draco would be laughing. He had this joy about him that no one could break. And, and it's that light that inspired many and make anyone around him happy and love. Andrik was also serious about kingdom work. If no one called the national executive each year, Andrik was also serious about, sorry, Andrik was always serious about kingdom work. If no one calls the national exec each year about convention, he would. He would call to find out what, what, what he had planned and any assigned tasks that we had for him. We didn't have to worry that it wouldn't be done. Jico would add his element to it, and when he delivered what his team, it was well done. He never demanded money, and he represented us with pride. He would always negotiate for his musicians or artists, but never for himself. Andrika loved music. Andrico loved music, and as he matured, he positioned himself to a higher level of his profession. But he made it more 
than about himself. And therefore, whenever time he meets or work with a, with a great group, he would call us and suggest them to us. That was the case with Urim Light. And to date, we have maintained an awesome relationship with the band. That was Drico, a young man with, uh, with the awesome ability to join people from all over together and build positive relationships. We therefore saw it important to honor him in 2018 for his outstanding service and we are glad we took all of that opportunity because we know that Andrico departed this life with an attitude towards people and kingdom building that is so hard to find. We love Andrico and the life he lived for Christ. This life must always be celebrated and this legacy shared with other young persons who are growing in the fellowship. A young man who loved his family dearly, but loved others even equally. The entire department misses him, and we stand in salute to the light he shed in dark world. To the family, we are here for you, and we continue to pray your strength as you mourn a stalwart of a servant in the kingdom and in the assembly. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you very much from the National Youth Department of the Assemblies of God. Um, praise God. At this time, we're going to be having also another tribute on behalf of the Urim Seven Light. That's the band that Andrico was uh, a part of. And um, it's going to be inviting Sister, Sister Dobbs. Sister Dobbs will be coming to do that tribute on behalf of the band. Praise God, praise God. Well, I wait on Michelle to find that tribute. Um, this time of a year would have been the annual Easter celebrations at Torrey Hill. And um, I can remember the first concert that was held. Um, we were practicing and during the practices, you know, my mind was just on Drico. <laughs> that if Drico was here. And then they told me, they kept telling me to, you know, just do what you have to do because Drico won't be coming. And the day before the event, I called him. I said, I'm not asking you if you are coming. Even if I have to pay for you when you get off the bus, you will be here. Sometime in the five o'clock on the day of the event, he called and he said, where are you? Come pick me up. I don't know ready. <laughs> I said, boy, I'm going to tell you if you come call me when you reach, when you get, when you're coming off the bus, I'm going to pay for you. <laughs> he said, Jesus, pay me for you. <laughs> Just come pick me up. down not ready. I went for him and, you know, nobody else knew that he was coming except me. And when I picked him up and we reached um, the door of Gospel Temple, there was such joy. And if you knew how well he fitted in, you wouldn't know that Drico was not a part of the, the rehearsals. I mean, we rehearsed for almost a month, right, Pastor? And when Drico came, it was as if he was the person who was leading the rehearsals. May his light continue to shine through our community. Tribute from Urim 7. Then spake, Je spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And Draco to us, his Urim 7 family was a son, a brother, a friend, and, a, and one so loved, he had the light of life and lived a life that showed forth the praises of God who called him out of darkness into his marvelous light. And Draco's light shone before all men at worship, in work. We fondly remember his big laugh, his infectious smile and inability to say no, being kind to a fault but most of all, his songs of praise. 
Andrico, Andrico joined the Urim 7 in 2017, singing and declaring the word of the Lord throughout Jamaica and the Caribbean, where he is truly missed. In life and in rest, Andrico was a true Urim 7 soldier, a light in the darkness and a new sound in the earth. Today, as he rests with the saints, we go forth and accordingly to Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is written upon thee, risen upon thee. Amen. Before I go, when I was leaving the house, I thought about something that I would take for him, not for him to remember me now, but to show my appreciation for his love. He, he was always a Gigi person. I always tell him that he's too Gigi. And he, if, if you notice, he's always sweating <laughs> because he was too busy. So I went into my closet and I took up a rug just to leave with him. Thank you very much, Mr. Dobbs, and the tribute from the Urim Civil Light Band. Praise God. Um, on behalf also of the Good News Assembly of God, the in Portmore, they send their condolences to the family. Thank you very much, Pastor Everton Butler, and the family of Christ over there in Good News Assemblies of God in Portmore, where Andrico worship. Praise God, praise God. Just. Um, Couple more remembrances and then we'll just run, continue with our stuff. We have a remembrance coming in from the Tower Hill Primary School. That's the primary school that Andrico went to, where we reside from the community of Tower Hill. And it says, It is hard to find the right words to comfort a grieving family that have lost a brother, a cousin, an uncle, a nephew, and a son. No other human can fully fathom the pain you are going through, but God alone understands. Many may ask the question, why? But only God knows the answer. Today, I implore the family to allow this grieving period to work as a bonding agent in bringing the family together as a unit. Comfort each other and let the memories of his laughter and his love live forever in your hearts. The entire family of the Tower Hill Primary School is still in shock over Andrico's passing. A young man with so much promise and potential. Words are inadequate to express our grief, but God understands. Tower Hill Primary and Infant express deepest condolences to the bereaved family. We also convey condolences on behalf of Miss Estella Bailey and Mrs. Vanessa Addison, past principal, especially to Miss Lee, a grieving mother, and her sister Michelle Powell, who is also a member of our school family. You are not alone. We cry with you, we mourn with you, and our prayers are with you. Andrico began his journey at Tower Hill Primary at the age of six years old. Images, images, Im images of his smiling face still lingers in our hearts. He was a happy and bubbly child. He got to learn and share his ideas. God preserved him as he moved up the rank of the grades. I was blessed with the opportunity to teach him in grade six. I can never erase the picture of Andrico's radiant smile. Even if Andrico, he is hurting, he would hide his pain behind a beautiful smile. He loves school and would always try his best to complete his assignments. He was a jovial child who was always eager to make people laugh. Andrico was very, very helpful and considerate child who would race to clean the blackboard and carry teachers, handbags, or papers. He did, he did well academically, as he was blessed with a no-nonsense mother, mm -hmm, who made sure he balanced schoolwork and play. Miss Lysit served as PTA president for several years. Andrika love for music manifested at an early age. He was a member of the school choir and was always happy to bless us with his melodious voice. He was successful in his GSAT examination and graduated to high school in 2003. Andrico did not forget his first love. After he graduated, he continued to serve Tower Hill Primary as choir director for several years. 
He also served as an assistant teacher and clerical assistant to the principal, Mrs. Vanessa Haddison. Andrico is gone, but not forgotten. His sweet memories will linger in our hearts forever. May God wrap his arms around his grieving family and loved ones and give, him, and give you peace. We love you, Andrico, and are so blessed to have shared this memorable years of your wonderful life. Sleep on, our brother. May your soul rest in peace. Thank you very much, um, Tower Hill. Uh, we also have another remembrance coming in from the Kadan Music Academy. It's a music academy in which Andrika worked alongside in, in Kingston. There were so many things that Andrika did during his lifetime. And as a brother, I am proud. Proud of him. He did a lot in his lifetime. From the Kadan Music Academy, Andrika was reliable kind, selfless, talented, and motivated. Indeed, it is hard losing someone who we at Kadan Music Academy consider to be a colleague, friend, and brother. Andrika believed in our vision and goals. We were a part of a greater fellowship with one aim and one interest. Personally, I spent hours talking to Andrika when we could stick around. He was truly passionate about the work that he did, he would speak about the progress of his students, and it was clear that their development as vocalists meant a lot to him. Andrika knew how to make everyone feel welcome with his bold but warm demeanor. May his memory live on. Condolences to his immediate family from the Kadan from the Kadan Music Academy family. So that's an academy in which he, he worked also in Kingston developing young people vocals to what he has um, as to, to what God has imparted to him. All right, so before I do the eulogy, the eulogy um, is one of his nieces going to be coming. Just said to come at this time and to pay tribute to Andrico. Praise God. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Josania Powell. I am Uncle, Uncle Andrico Robinson's niece. I love my uncle very much and he loved me too. I was one of his favorite. Uncle loves to sing. He was always singing and I enjoy listening to him singing. When he comes to my house, I am always happy to see him. He will encourage me to love school and love God. And if I do good in school, he will give me a phone. He said he was going to let me got, go to music school and swimming class and I believe him. But now my dreams are broken in a thousand pieces. Uncle, I still love you and the Lord will make my dream come true. I miss you a lot. May your soul rest in peace. The eulogy of the late Andrico Alwyn Robinson. Andrico Alwyn Robinson, affectionately called Drico, was born on Wednesday, April 24, 1991, to Mr. Suntley Robinson, father, now deceased, and Miss Rosalind Lysit, mother, who is here with us today. Andrico is fifth of six siblings, five boys and one girl, all belonging to Suntley and Rosalind. He was born into a close-knitted family and grew up in the community of Tower Hill. Those who knew Andrico growing up would have known that he was not that full-bodied, handsome man that we would have come to know and love. Andrico was, a, was so small growing up. When he was graduating from Tower Hill Basic School, he was the smallest child at the graduation. We used to worry about him because for some reason, this boy would not seem to be growing physically. 
But despite that, he was a smart and determined young boy. Andrico's educational journey saw him going to the Tower Hill Basic and Tower Hill Early School in the same community. During this stage of his life, there were so many persons who were influential in his upbringing. He continued his educational journey by attending the Hanshover Comprehensive High School, where he could have chosen one of so many career paths. But his love at that time for electronics would have seen him working with office equipment, sales and services for a number of years as a service technician. But that was not his calling. From an early age, we knew that he loved to sing. And spending his early Christian years in Tower Hill, where he gave his life to the Lord and was baptized at the Gospel Temple, Assemblies of God, at the age of nine. And he served his local community and church in praise and worship, choir ministry, and any other way he could help, help out. Jacob was loved and respected by his peers and the community of Tower Hill in general and appreciated the ability that God had given to him to sing. The family was so proud of him and the man he was shaping out to become. He would sing his way through any situation. One of his favorite was, praise is what I do when I want to be close to you. I vow to praise you through the good and the bad. Andrika had a perpetual love for music and ministry. And because of this, he was determined to push further into his calling. This was when he met and spoke with us, his family, about attending Edna Manley College of the Visual and Perform Performing Arts to nurture his gift in Kingston. When asked how he was going to finance his schooling, he said, and I quote, by faith. Andrika left for Kingston. It was not easy for the family with so much uncertainty, but the Lord would have opened doors for him at Good News Assembly of God in Portmore, where he was living. The Lord opened doors for him and placed him in the Digicel family, where he was working during the time of his passing. The Lord would have granted him favor again and opened doors for him with the Kadan Music Academy and the Urim Seven Band, where he traveled and ministered with the band local and overseas. These encounters in Andrico's life fulfilled him so much because what he wanted to do and the passion that he had for singing and ministry was unfolding right before his very eyes. Andrika was so loved by the assemblies of God and, 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 and was valued for his work and contribution towards ministry. Andrika was loved by his peers and, star, and, 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 and loved by his peers and faculty at the Enamanda College of the Visual and Performing Arts. Andrika was loved by the management and his colleagues at Digicel. Andrika was loved by the management and members of the Urim 7 band. Andrika was loved by the, the Kadan Academy. Andrika was loved by his friends, his fans, both here and overseas. He was also loved by the Alarassian group. Praise God. Andrika was loved by the Assembly of God youth family. And you could have found him supporting and fulfilling his duties at the Assembly of God youth camp, youth conventions and missions. He loved young people and they loved him. One of his dreams was to have a music school where he would be able to assist young people in nurturing their talent for the performing arts. It was such a joy. When he came to visit a church in Gospel Temple, Tower Hill, all the hugs and conversation about his life and what he was doing in Kingston. As siblings, we look forward to having him down for the holidays, especially for Christmas, where he would talk about his life in Kingston and his traveling to the Caribbean Highlands for ministry. It was such a joy 
when he came, especially, especially when he would raid all his siblings' houses, especially Mannix and Michelle, where we would stuff his bags and head back to Kingston. We loved when he did that, and it was such a joy for us to see him and hug him. It made the family so proud seeing him on stage at the recently concluded Rainforest, Rainforest Seafood Family Fun Day in Montego Bay. Our mother was so happy seeing her son on stage, her Andrico, her little boy, becoming full circle into the man she wanted him to be. On April 2nd, 2020, I received a call from our big sister at six in the morning that my brother is in the hospital at the university hospital of the West Indies. I immediately called him, spoke at length about how he was doing and his health condition. He also spoke to some of the other siblings in the morning as was customary among us. When I asked him how he was holding up, he said, and I quote, my brother, be good. The good man, feeling much better, just waiting on some results so they can discharge me and send me home, end quote. By that time, the family had already decided to go up to Kingston that same morning to pay my visit at the hospital, based on a conversation he had with us. And while the family was getting ready to go to Kingston, a call came in from the hospital that they want to meet with the family. Upon reaching the University of the West Indies Hospital, the news was given that Andrico Alwyn Robinson had passed. There are a lot of unanswered questions that only God can answer. A lot of hurt that only God can heal. A void that is left in our hearts only God can fill. We take comfort in knowing that he knew Christ. He knew Christ, and he's at a better place. He fulfilled his calling to God and man. He survived by Rosalie Lysit, mother, Michelle Robinson Powell, sister, Mannix Robinson, brother, who could not be here today because he lives overseas and because of the restrictions and flights coming into the country, he could not be here today. Survived by Dorian Robinson, yours truly, his brother. Caden Robinson, his brother. Ian Robinson, brother. Nieces, nephews, a host of other relatives and friends, both local and overseas. Rest well, my brother, until we meet again on that beautiful shore. Rest in peace. Andrico. Praise God. At this time, we're going to be having the word of God. And I invite our host pastor to come at this moment, no other than Reverend Alice T. Reed. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Dorian. On behalf of the Hospital Assembly of God, I want to convey deep condolence to the bereaved family and I want to you to understand that your loss is also our loss and we continue to pray God's strength for you at this time as you go through your time of grieving we are with you and I'm sure that the friends and other well-wishers of Andrico is also lifting you up in prayers. Amen. 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 Praise God. You know, I want to just bring a very short word to our heart today to encourage the family and not only the family, but I know that there are many who are watching us who may have questioned, who came in contact with Andrico. And I believe that God is still in control. You know, we 
read in the scripture from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 to 58. And this, these words will answer some of the questions that we have. And I pray that as the word will go forth, that it will touch the heart of his people in the name of Jesus. I want to share with you in this time, there is still hope. I want to tell the family members that there is still hope. I want to say to Andrika's friends and fans and those of who follow him on social media that there is still hope. Amen. You know, as a child, I was fascinated by the age of person when they died. Because I remember when growing up and my grandmother and those who will go to funeral, then they bring back the funeral program. The first thing I would look on, what age? Yeah. And I was so fascinated by the age because they were like 85, 95, 100. And you know, those years seem so long. And I was wondering, when will I reach those years? But you know what? God has given man a, a, man a, a specific time. You know, the word of God tells us that three scores and 10, Amen. that is 70. Yes. But we come to realize that many persons are not reaching, matching up to those years. Some reason or the other, they get cut off in whatever way. But we will ask the question at time, why? Is there any hope? But there is still hope according to the word of God. Amen. We have a testimony here. Andrico had so many plans. When I listen on some of the things that he was involved in, he, 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 he was touching lives. And we may wonder why. But I believe that God have an answer for every question. Amen. We may not get the answer now, but I believe in the sweet by and by, yes. we will get the answer. Amen. Why? Yes. Why? Why? The Apostle Paul assured us in the word in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. He assured us, he encouraged us, he encouraged the church at Corinth. He talked about in verse 51 that death is not the final, the, 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 the final state. Death is not final. Amen, somebody. Death is not final. Hallelujah. He said that we will rise again. Amen. Hallelujah. Our brother will rise again. Yes. Not only we are going to rise, but we shall be changed Amen. in a moment, yes. in the twinkling of an eye. Hallelujah. And believe that one day, because of this hope that we have, death will die. Yes. Hallelujah. I believe that because of the hope that we will ha have, we have in God, uh, hallelujah, there will be no more mourning, there will be no more separating, uh, there will be no more sickness. Uh, death is not final yes. for us. Amen. Hallelujah. He said that dead in Christ shall rise. My brother and all who went on before us uh, will rise uh, again hallelujah hallelujah praise be to god not only hallelujah we will god that is not final but let me tell you something hallelujah hallelujah death hallelujah will be defeated amen glory to god glory to god i believe that if andrika would be alive in this time he would be saying to us, don't worry. I guess he would be laughing. I, I think he, he maybe he's laughing and he's saying, don't worry. I am in good hands. Amen. I am 
am in good hands. Hallelujah. I would believe that he would want to tell us that we should be steadfast. We should remain hopeful. We should remain faithful. And I want to say to some of his friends, someone, some of his friends who may be questioning and wondering why, hallelujah, you have to remain faithful to God because we do not know when. We may say, you know what, we have all the time, all the years. I am young. Um, I have all these plans. But this is a testimony that our life is in God's hand. Amen. Tomorrow is not certain. Our life is in God's hand. So to, to for us to, to be faithful or, or to be full of hope, we have to remain steadfast to God. Amen. Steadfast in the word. Steadfast in carrying on the ministry that Andrika had left. Amen. Hallelujah. He was a good worship leader. He was a good singer. Yes. He was such a motivating young man. But there has to be somebody who will remain steadfast to the call. Yes. Hallelujah. And continue doing where he has left off. Hallelujah. Right. Not only should we be steadfast, but for us to get that hope yes. or live in that hope, yes. we must be immovable Amen. immovable be steadfast Im unmovable always abounding and we are living in a time where it is easy to compromise mm -hmm. i say to us in order to live that hopeful life we have to be we should not be compromising Come our on. faith Come on. i want to say to somebody Amen. don't compromise your faith stand up Amen. Be a be 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 a Daniel. Yes. Be 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 someone who who, who worship is a lifestyle. Uh, uh, hearing the, the um one of the comments that Andrikas one of his favorite was uh, that he, he, he worship was a part of him. Yes. Praise is what he does. Yes. He was always gen energetic. He was always on the move for God. Hallelujah. Praise God, and I believe, I believe that one day we will see him again. Hallelujah. One day we will meet up with him again. Yes. This is not the end. As long as we remain faithful, as long as we remain, hallelujah, in where God has called us and where God has placed us, hallelujah. we can have that hope. Yes. Not only that, but we always abound in his work. Amen. Continue working for the Lord. Amen. Family, continue trusting God. That's right. Continue to believe God. Amen. Continue to hope for God. Amen. Hoping in God. Continue to, to, to be involved in the different ministry, the different call. And I want to say to us uh, that we have to all, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For you know what? Our reward is sure. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. There are some plans that Andrico had. Yes. They may not mature on this side, Come on. but glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe that they are maturing in glory. Hey. Hallelujah. Because he will get his reward. Hallelujah. I believe he's going to hear well done. Hallelujah. Not only him, but all those who have lived the life, living Christ, dying Christ. Hallelujah. I believe that they're going to hear well done. Hallelujah. Servant, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Amen. We will be rewarded. Yes. All of us will be rewarded. Amen. Glory be to God. We will be rewarded. God is the one who holds our future. Yes. He calls the shots. Yes. In him we live. In him we move. And in him we have our very being few days ago i was on facebook and i scroll somehow i scroll on andrika's profile and andrika was doing this challenge that was going out he got the old world in his hand he got the whole world in his hand little did he know hallelujah
hallelujah Amen. that he would be in the hands of God Amen. that he, God would call him to higher service hallelujah. that God will call him home I want to say he is the one who holds our life he is the one who is the captain of our life for those who have not yet known him as Lord and Savior he is the one who have your life in his hands Amen. hallelujah Hallelujah. He's got the whole world. He's got the whole world. He's got Andrico in his hand. Family, God have you in his hand. Friends and well wishers, he God have you in his hands. Be not dismayed, what ear be tight. God will take care of you. Maybe you may not be able to sing like Andrico. Maybe you'll not be able to preach like Paul. Maybe you'll not be able to do something what other persons are comfortable doing. But whatever you are called to do, do it. Amen. I will say, until then, my heart will go on singing. Hallelujah. Until then, with joy. I'll carry on yes. until the day yes. our eyes be all the city yes. until the day Hallelujah. God call yes. me home yes. we are not here to stay we are just pilgrim passing through we do not know when but we must be continue to be steadfast yes. unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as we know hallelujah that our labor is not in vain I believe that the contribution that my brother has made in the life of those who are sitting here and those who are watching it will not go in vain hallelujah because I believe he has touched life and I'm believing God that there is still hope that we will meet again we will meet again we will see him hallelujah when the saints go marching him I believe that we will be singing redeem 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 by the blood of the lamb hallelujah redeem what a day that will be God is in control he's got your life if you have not yet known him as Lord and Savior let the God that Andrico serve be your God Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. At this time, we'll invite Pastor Ron Rutland, National Christ Ambassador President, to come and pray for the bereaved family. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let me greet everyone this afternoon in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I was going to stay home and watch, but I couldn't. I just had to come. And so we don't mourn as those who don't have any hope because our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. Father, we thank you. We honor you. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the balm in Gilead. Lord, you're the God of all comfort. You are able, mighty God, to comfort us in this time that we're going through. And so I place the family before you. 
And I ask God that you will grant them the peace that passes all understanding. Mighty God, I pray that you will overshadow them right now with your presence and with your anointing to keep them, mighty God. I, I pray, Father, that you will just watch over them, Father. We pray, God Almighty, that you will comfort them right now. Lord, we know it is a difficult time, but you said you peace, your peace rather than you leave with us, not as a world, give it, give it you unto us. And so we thank you that in this time you have granted us that peace, God, that is able to keep us. We thank you that you are able, Lord God, to watch over us in this time. Lord, we know it's not by might, and we know it's not by power. We thank you, God, that you have given us the greatest comforter of all times. We thank you, God, that the Holy Spirit dwells and lives in our lives and in the lives of the family. So we know, God Almighty, even though it is difficult, you will grant them that peace. Father, we know the grieving process takes some time, and I pray for your peace and your comfort in arms. I place them in your arms right now. And I pray, Jesus, that you will just hold them in the hollow palms of your hands. As your word says, you are able to keep that which we have committed unto you. And we commit the family in your hands. And we say, God, have your way. We ask that you will bless every single one. Those who are watching on Facebook who are grieving, you will, you will cover them and you will watch over them. We bless you and we honor you in no other name but in the name of Jesus. And we say amen and amen. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Amen. You know, I am I'm the eldest of the family. I am Michelle Robinson Powell. And I've always, wherever I go, I always talk about my, my brothers. I always call them my five boys. And when our father died, it was very hard. It was hard when our daddy died. And my mother and I had to take on the challenge to raise five, <laughs> five boys who wanted to have their own way. But then I give God thanks and praise that the Lord started to save them one after the other. It was hard. Don't you, Dorian? It was hard. Don't you, Kadian? Um, I ain't. It was hard. Manning isn't here now, but it was so hard. But we made it through God. We made it through God. And when, when Andrico gave his life to the Lord, and Ian gave his life to the Lord, and Dorian gave his life to the Lord, and Manix gave his life to the Lord, and my mother gave her life to the Lord. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that Cadian will give his life to the Lord. We realize how awesome God is, that when we had nothing, God made a way for us. It was tough. It was hard when our father died. But can I tell you something for all those who are here and all those who are viewing us? God kept us Amen. through. Yes. He carried us through in the good times and in the bad times. I remember when my when they when the government when the government factory closed and my mother lost her, her job. It was my brother, Manix, Manix, <laughs> sent them to school. He sent them to, to school out of the salary that he, he got. And he became the father. He took up the father role and sent Ian and Andrico and Katie to school. And then I went away to Bible college and he will call me and he will say, my sister, it is, it is, it is, it is so hard. God give me strength, me go talk. It is so hard. Michelle, hurry up and finish college and come home. And regardless of how hard it was, 
Manix did it. He schooled them, not sure. Manix, yeah, Manix schooled them. And, and then Dorian got a job. And then everybody came on board and sent everybody to school. And we live as a close family. How hard it was. We live as a close family. It wasn't riches that kept us together. It wasn't millions of dollars that kept us together. Because that we didn't have, but we had God. God in the midst. Read, we had God. And we had God. And we have love, 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 love. That we will get up in the morning, not you, not you, not you. And we will pray and have devotion every Sunday morning. And God made a way for all of us. God is a good God. And none of the children ever suffered, but God carried all of us through. And when Manix got the chance to go away abroad, whenever he comes home, he makes certain that all of us would meet. Not you. All of us will meet every December. Only family, no friends, just family. And I remember the children, uh, just Sanya uh, and, and DeAndre and, and, and Edda and, and Alex and Max and, and, and just Daniel and just Sanya, uh, Aish, and uh, uh, Isaiah and Isaac and, and Navlet and, and Latoya and, and, and Mark and, and Dorian and Ian and Drico and Katie and, and everybody, everybody just get and we eat and we laugh and we dance and we make fun oh god i give you thanks that pastor he enjoyed himself with his family i'm not weak but i i just have to cry not you because we miss him but i know that we're going to see him again Amen. pray for continue to pray for the family for those who are viewing us, for those who are here, just continue to pray for us that God will keep us together. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor Powell. It shall be well. It shall be well with you and the family. It shall be well. I want to convey thanks on behalf of the family to all those who lend a hand of support, show a hand of care in whatever way or form, whether by a small word or a call. The family is really appreciative and may God continue to bless you. Thank you for the support and the love that you have given to the bereaved family. You know at this time we are going to lay the remains of our dear brother, lay the remains to rest. But we believe God that he shall rise again and we will meet again. Amen. Amen. We're just going to ask the Paul bearers to come because we have to keep in touch with the time. So we're going to ask the Paul bearers to come as we will take the remain to the final resting place. Paul bearers to come. Praise God. Why we'll just do the song until they reach. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder. Amen. Praise God. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder, consider all the work thy hands have made. I see the stars.
Upgrade the word. Then sing my soul. My Savior goes to thee. Upgrade the word. My soul, then sings my soul. My Savior, go to thee. Oh, great the one. Oh, great the one. Then sings my soul. My Savior, go. How great the world, how great the world, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great the world, how great the world, then my Savior God to thee. Oh, great the world. Oh, great the world. Oh, great the world. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify your name. For as much as it has pleased our heavenly Father in his mercy to take back to himself the soul of our beloved brother, Andrico Robinson, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior, when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of a dead angel and the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall be brought back. Then shall we bow to pass the saying, death is swallowed up in victory. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. We'll sing the chorus. Those of you who can sing, let me sing. No, it's hard. But Andrika was a singer, so let us do do this in memory of our brother. Someday, someday. Someday, someday. I'll go where Jesus is. Someday, someday. I'll go where Jesus is. Someday, someday. Oh, yeah. 
the fire and the sun. Oh, how we cry the day you left us. We gathered round your grave to grieve. Wish I could see the angels' faces when they hear your sweet voice. Oh, it's time. Oh, it's time. Oh, that's now. Son, your work on earth is done. Go to heaven. Go to heaven. And shout love for the Father and the Son. Go is thine. Go is the mountain. Son, your work, son, your work, on earth is done. Oh, go to heaven, go to heaven, the shouting love for the Father and the Son, love for, love for the Father. Father, we give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you honor. God, we thank you for the blessed hope that we have in you, Lord, that when we die, we shall live again. We thank you, Lord, for that opportunity that you have given of your brother, your son to us, Lord God. Yes, Lord, you are dear brother. Father God, his time on earth is ended. And Father God, the ministry that he had, the life that he has touched, we are still here, Lord, to carry on your work. God, we ask your blessing, we ask your comfort, we ask your grace over us now, in the name of Jesus. May the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and love of God the Father, the full fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest, remain, and abide, and keep us all until we meet. God bless you, in Jesus' name. Praise is what I do. I vow to pray. 